This next product is Utrema Insecticidal Soap. Now there are a number of products on the market that contain soaps or fatty acid based surfactants and they can be used in organic farming and also conventional farming. Now the main problem with insecticidal soaps and the products that are on the market is they're based on cheap sodium based surfactants and as you may know from studying plant nutrition sodium is highly toxic to plants. It's a micronutrient that's required in such low volumes, such low um, concentrations that you get more than enough in the water that the plants are receiving or in the soil. So sodium based crops you can apply them, they'll kill the insects but if the, the dose rate is high enough to kill the insect then it's probably going to cause phytoxicity. So you'll get scorch and reduction in growth. So we use a unique sodium free product that's not on the market anywhere else in the UK and that contains plant macronutrients rather than sodium. So in essence it's a soap, it breaks down the skin, the, the exoskeleton of the insect and they're having a physical mode of action and that's why it's allowed in organic and conventional farming. It's not a biocide, it's not directly killing it through a biochemistry. Um, as with any soap, it will it will uh, soap up, it will foam up, so you need to remember that when you're tank mixing it, but it's a really good product, especially when used in combination with the azaradictin um, that we also sell. So if you um, apply once with the azaradictin to control things like thrips or sap sucking insects, and then followed up with insecticidal soap, you get in double mode of action, um, one's an anti-feed and one's attacking the exoskeleton. And um, the, the, the published reports out there of using that combination have shown really good effects. Um, so definitely something both conventional and organic farmers should look at.